In the 1920s, Philadelphia native Dorothy Eustace made history in Switzerland by training German Shepherd dogs to lead blinded war veterans. Across the sea, Morris Frank, a 19-year-old blinded boxer from Tennessee, still vowed to create history despite his handicap. What resulted was a request. Upon reading of her work, Frank wrote Eustace asking she train a dog for him. In return, he promised to show off the dog's worth to the public. Over 70 years later, the seeing eye has continued to turn one request into opportunity after opportunity for the blinded or visually impaired. However, before these dogs can lead, they must learn how to walk the straight line. For roughly 18 months, individuals of different backgrounds and locations take in dogs destined to lead and help the proverbial blind lead the blind. These people take time out of their schedules to become students of seeing eye instruction, nurturing dogs from their terrible twos to maturation. These two are the next in the club to go back to the seeing eye, probably within about a month. These foster parents provide love and discipline to the dogs in their care in preparation for their return to the seeing eye. However, nothing comes easy when it comes to these dogs, be it the rigorous training sessions, the heartwarming need to be playful, or the day in which the dogs are called upon for duty and leave home. The good part about this is the puppy has just arrived and these dogs are getting ready to go back. It's all a part of the routine of people who choose to help better the lives of the blind or visually impaired. It's all a part of the way these dogs change the lives of their owners. It's all a part of the lives of puppy raisers.